Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 9.7, Graph and Analyze Relationships. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to graph the relationship between two numerical patterns on a coordinate grid. Please pause again to write the objective in your notebook. All right, fifth graders, today's lesson is going to take all the things that we've learned and put them together into one big skill. We're going to have to find some ordered pairs. We're going to have to make a data table. We're going to have to graph that and answer some questions. So let's dive in with the unlock the problem. Sasha is making hot cocoa for a party. For each mug of cocoa, he uses three tablespoons of cocoa mix and six fluid ounces of hot water. If Sasha uses an entire 18 tablespoon container of hot cocoa, how many fluid ounces will he need? Let's start with the purple box. How many tablespoons of cocoa does each does mix does he need for each mug? Well, let's go back and look into our unlock the problem. It says for each mug, he needs three tablespoons of cocoa. Our second question says how many fluid ounces does it take for each mug? And it tells us six fluid ounces. So if I'm going to make one mug of cocoa, then it would take me three cocoa teaspoons and six fluid ounces. If I made two, then I would have to double that number. So I would need six teaspoons of cocoa mix and six plus six is 12. So you can see that on this row, I am going to add three and on this row, I am going to add six. So let's continue to fill in these numbers. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus three is 12. 12 plus three is 18. Now let's continue the water. Six plus 12, or six plus six is 12. 12 plus six is 18. 18 plus six is 20 four and 24 plus six is 36. So now that we have our data table and we know all of these numbers, we're going to write those into ordered pairs. So if we look at the first, we have three, six, that would be one cup. So our second one would be six comma 12. And then our third one would be nine comma 18. And then 12 comma 24 and lastly 18 comma 36. Now we're going to graph these ordered pairs and find a relationship. So let's start with our first one of 3, 6. So I'm going to start at the origin, go over 3 and up 6. And then our next one is 6, 12. So start at the origin over to 6 and then up to the 12. And then again start at the origin Go over to 9 and up to 18, and then over to the origin, up to 12, and then 24, and then lastly, 18 and 36. Now let's connect the dots and make a line graph. So I'm going to start all the way down at 0 and then connect my dots. And remember that your line might be a little bit straighter than mine. But let's answer the question. What rule can we write that relates the amount of cocoa to the amount of water? Well, if we look at from here to here, how did I get from three to six? Well, three times two is six. Let's see if the pattern continues. Six times two is 12, yes. Nine times two is 18, yes. So my rule is that I am going to multiply by two. So Sasha will use 36 fluid ounces of water if she wants to use the whole container of cocoa mix. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's practice this again with the next example. It says, John is customizing an audio sound system. He needs to buy three and a half feet of cable wire but it's sold in inches. 
He knows that there are 12 inches in one foot. How many inches of wire will he need? So if it's only sold in the foot instead of the half foot, then we need to multiply each number by 12. So one foot is 12 inches. Two feet would be 24 inches. Three feet, three times 12, would be 36 inches. So our rule is that we are multiplying by 12. Four times 12 would be 40 Eight. Now let's take these numbers and write them into ordered pairs. So our first one is 1, 12. Then we have 2, 24. Then we have 3, 36. And 4, 48. Now that we have these ordered pairs, let's go ahead and graph them to make a graph. So start at the origin, we have 0. We're going to go over to the whole number 1, even though there's fractional numbers on here. We're going to go over to the whole number 1 and then up to 12. And try to get it as close as you can to the right point. Remember, it's a little hard for me on the iPad. All right, then we're going to go to whole number 2 and up to 24. And then we're going to go to whole number 3 and up to 36. And then hole number four and up to 48. And then let's connect these lines to make a graph. All right, make sure you have this written down because step three and four are on the next slide. But I actually, before I go to the next slide, I want to look at step three. Step three takes us back to the question that says we need to buy three and a half feet. So we know that three and a half is between three and four. So even though this is not a point that is on our data table, we need to look at what point three and a half meets our line. So if we look at three and a half, and then we look all the way over here, we know that that is going to be 40. Two. So even though three and a half was not a number we started with, if we can make a line, we can find numbers in between our lines. So let's go to the next slide. Answering steps three and four is your lesson activity for today, and I've already gotten you started. We know that three and a half is between three and four on our x-axis. So remember I drew the lines up from three and the lines up from four, and then we need to know where three and a half is. So I went from three and a half, and then I went over to this number over here on the y-axis. So our x-axis is going to be three and one half, but what is our y-axis going to be? That is your job to fill in is the y-axis. I did say it on the page before, so if you're not sure, go back and watch the video to answer the question. That answer goes both here and here. Great job, fifth graders.